Hey guys, it's Chris from Tech Takedown, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to customize your YouTube username. You may have recently seen comments from people such as Chuck Norris or Robert Bowling and wondered how they got their username to be like that. Well guys, I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. To start off, you're going to want to make sure you're logged out of your YouTube account and go to google.com slash plus. This will bring you to Google+. It will then bring you to Google Plus's main homepage. I'm sure many of you are familiar with this. And then you're going to go where it says create an account. It will then bring you to a page where you have to fill in all of your information. The first thing you're going to fill in is your name. This is the name that's going to be below all your comments, so make sure you choose wisely. You will then have to fill in your email. If you're not planning to use this account more than once, I recommend doing what I did and just make up an email. But if you're planning to log into this account another time, you may want to enter in an email that is actually yours. I'm only planning to do this once, which is why I'm making up all my information. You will then have to add the rest of your information, whether being fake or not. You can make up a mobile number like I did, and then you're going to have to prove you're not a robot by entering the capture code. Once you have entered the capture code and all of your information has been filled in, all you have to do is agree to Google's terms and service, and then you can go to the next step. The next page will ask you to create a profile. You can just ignore that and go on to the next step. It will then bring you to the final page and you will see the name you created in the bar on the top of your browser. Once you see that, all you're going to have to do is go up to your URL bar, delete the address that is already in there and replace it with youtube.com. At the YouTube homepage, you're then going to go to sign in and you will notice that under email and YouTube username is the email you created on Google+. You are then just going to type in the password you created and click sign in. You will now notice that in the upper right hand corner of your browser, instead of your YouTube username, it says the name you created on Google+. You are then going to find a video you want to leave a comment on, but before you can leave a comment, you have to click add a channel. It will then bring you to a page where all you have to click is OK, I'm ready to continue. It will then bring you back to the YouTube video you were originally at and you are free to leave a comment. Once you post the comment, you will see that the username is the exact username you created. Now although the comment says it was left by Chuck Norris, when the user goes to your channel, they will see that your channel is actually a bunch of letters and numbers. So the name you create isn't the real name of your channel, it's more of a cover. If you decide you want to get rid of all those letters and numbers, you can go to Edit Channel, go to Info and Settings, and you will see your channel URL. From there you can edit it to be whatever you would like, but it can't be a username that was already taken on YouTube. Doing this will defeat the purpose of everything you just did in Google+, because the username you come up with will replace the original name you created. So I recommend not doing this if you want to keep the name you created, but I'm just showing you that the option is there. Well guys, it's been Chris from Tech Takedown. I hope you enjoyed this somewhat different video. Be sure to leave some comments down below with some creative usernames, and guys, I'll catch you in the next one.